you're listening to Kate Palmer and I'm about to make a really beautiful embellishment using some leftover embossing powders. To create this embellishment you'll need some mica powders, I'm using some from Lindy Stamp Gang. You'll need some frozen opals, I'll show you this later, some leftover UT pieces or opals pieces, a stamp with a fairly open design and a brilliance pad, I'm using one in Galaxy Gold. I just thought I'd show you a bit of a fun technique today that uses a whole lot of leftover pieces of ultra thick embossing enamel. Uh, sometimes it's also called UT depending on the brand or opals. So this is a really good way of using up all of those little scraps. So what you'll need is some scraps of UT or opals or ultra thick embossing powder that have already been melted at least once. You'll also need some frozen opals. This is the frozen opals. As you can see, it's really pretty. One small piece goes a long way, so I'm just going to break this flake into little pieces. All right, so I'm just gonna use this tiny little handful of flakes here, and that will be more than enough. First thing you need to do is place some of those clear opals in a small pile onto a non-stick craft mat along with a few shards of the frozen opals. Heat this with an embossing gun. You can start to see this is all melting and forming a puddle. You need to keep heating until all of those pieces have remelted and have liquefied. I'm going to add my first bit of mica powder, which is the Asteroid Amethyst Blue. My next colour is Venus Violet Blue, and again continuing to melt. The last colour I'm adding is the Gravitation Grape Blue. Make sure you push the mica into the molten embossing enamel so that it doesn't fly away when you heat it. Now you don't want to mix all of these micas completely, you don't want to end up with just the one muddy colour, but you do need the micas fairly evenly distributed throughout your liquid. I've inked my stamp with the Galaxy Gold Brilliance ink and straight away put that inked stamp directly into your melted product. Now it's very important that you only use an inked stamp at this stage, otherwise you may find that it's quite difficult to pick the solidified opals out of your stamped image. This will take anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes to cool down, and you really want to leave your stamp in the product until it's cool. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes, and it's feeling a little uh, cooler now, so I'm just going to peel this off. As you can see, it's stuck to the stamp. At this point it's really important to peel very very carefully. You don't want this to break so the best thing to do is to peel from each corner until it comes away smoothly. Now you need to clean your stamp straight away. You can see that this is looking really beautiful. The image is lovely and deep. The Brilliance ink has taken really well. We've got this beautiful gold image. You can see that there's a bit of variation within the purples. So some areas are quite pale, others are quite dark. On here the image is a little dull where it's contacted the um, vulcanized rubber from the stamp. So what I'm going to do is give it a tiny quick shot with the heat gun just so that this glossies up a little. Alright, so once you see the surface turning glossy, that's enough. Any more can ruin it. You might not be able to see the difference in the webcam here but in person it's gone from quite a matte satiny finish to a super high gloss glassy finish and that's the, the finish I prefer on these. I hope you can see how much glossier this is now. 
it's a lot more shiny than it was before. So I'd created a background to go with my dragonfly embellishment and I just used three colours of the Starburst Stains. For this particular piece I've used French Lilac Violet, Mountain Lavender Gold and Carpathian Bluebells. All I've done is spritz them over a piece of uh, wet cardstock and then add these drag marks of gold schminky. It turns out to have lots of different subtle colours and these lovely little gold patches. Hello Safi. Safi likes helping me stamp. This is my finished card. I've mounted my opals and UT embellishment onto a piece of black cardstock where I've stamped the same stamp that I've impressed into the hot embossing enamels in the same colour gold brilliance ink. I've edged this with Krylon pen in gold, mounted it onto that beautiful purple background that I've made, added a layer of black and then some purple basil cardstock and all of that absolutely gorgeous colour from the opals and uh, ultra thick embossing enamel embellishment. Just a little closer so you can see all of that. And you can see how absolutely beautiful that has turned out to be. Now I really don't think this piece needed anything further to embellish it. All it really needed is that lovely central panel that we've created using the leftovers of either opals or ultra thick embossing enamel and of course the mica powder from Lindy's Stamp Gang. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how this embellishment was created. But watch out, once you've made one, they're a little bit addictive and you may be finding that these are popping up everywhere all over your projects. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.